peace and sharing this one and only life Ending up just another lost and lonely wife You count up the years and they will be filled with tears Love only breaks up to start over again Well guys, forgive the shirt I get a lot of stick about my shirts. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, yeah. By the time you've uh, you start watching this, you'll have seen my other videos, and not least of all, uh, me finally after 34 years having a PB, uh, which I'm still elated about. And uh, yeah, probably won't be able to dine out on it quite as much as my Cassian fish, but I'll give it a go. Um, meanwhile, I'm off to uh, having got back for a while now. Um, off to uh, the zoo, a place I've not fished before, just south of Le Mans, um, owned by a guy, Tom Tebbett, who bought the lake about, I think must be getting on five years ago now. Um, so I'm down there and there's not many of us on the lake because, you know, most people aren't able to make it as a result of the need to quarantine. So for now, um, I'm uh, driving out Friday morning, staying at a nearby hotel Friday night um, and then fishing Saturday to Saturday. So yeah, watch this space guys, typical trip in many ways um, in terms of approach and you know all the sort of things that um, I do in preparation for these trips. Um, and as I understand it, we can use a boat there with outboard, we can use our bait boats, uh, all that sort of thing. So yeah, um, again, uh, thanks guys. I've had so many comments on my videos. It was a few months before I started to upload them and then they all got uploaded uh, rather quickly and I've had some great messages uh, and I really appreciate it. Well guys, Saturday morning and this kick starts the video. My mates are in the background, we'll catch up with them in a minute, but uh, yeah, got here yesterday, just south of Le Mans, stayed in a nice hotel, I had a walk around the lake yesterday with the boys. Um, yeah, stayed at a hotel, had a nice dinner and are now fresh as a daisy, midday Saturday. There's Roy the Koi, well known on the videos. Andy, ain't been on the video for a long while. And this is the scene at the zoo. How many times you been here, Roy? Few, You've been here a while, haven't you? Been here four a... years, I think. Yeah. Uh... There's Tom, another fellow koi keeper and his boy. Yeah. There he is. So yeah, this is the scene. This lake we walked around yesterday. It's about 45 acres. He reminded me of like a North Met pit type lake. As soon as I saw it, because I've been used to fishing smaller waters than this in France of late. Um, yeah, about 45 acres with bays, islands, bars, plateaus. Got it all going on, so we'll have a good look around the lake during the course of the week. But right now I've got in mind, having walked around yesterday, um, where I want to fish, um, which is up the other end, where the wind southwesterly has been blowing there for most of the week. There's only been two anglers on this week just gone. There was meant to be ten of us, and there's only three of us. And Andy don't really fish, he'll be fishing with Roy. So uh, yeah, not much pressure at all, but a sign of the times in France right now with all that's going on. So um, yeah, we're gonna have a cup of tea with Tom, um, get some bait sorted out, and then I'm gonna get round to take a closer look at two swims in particular. Uh, just hoping this weather eases up because it's, uh, it's raining quite hard at the moment. But uh, yeah, nice complex. Tom's had it about five years, I believe. And I met Tom and his girlfriend at the time, who's here with him now, Marie, never had a baby since. Um, uh, he was the bailiff and she was doing the cooking on Castle Lake. And I went there, must be five, six years ago. So anyway, going to have a cup of tea, have a skirt about, and um, yeah, get the video out when I'm rounding the pegs. Yeah, so we're in the clubhouse here. The southwesterly is blowing down there. And I was looking at four and ten, given the close range style of fishing that I like. Roy and Andy are looking to go in here and cover the middle water uh, but you can see there's lots going on so um, we'll have a good look around the lake with the camera as the week progresses conditions look proper good to be fair for this time of year southwesterly mild that's heavy rain there sweeping through so waiting for that to clear and then uh, get round to um, Roy's actually fishing now and Andy and peg two and three 
round here if you look at that map I uh, overlaid um, which means I'm not going to go in peg 4 because it gets cut off a little bit from peg 3 so I'll be going in peg 10 just round there Yeah, so that was peg 10 and I'm just going to have a look to my right peg 9 where you've got a big bay to your right and uh, you can't help thinking the fish will be getting down there as well pegs are well spread out here so this is 9 it's like a big spit with water the other side of it Look at that down there a lot. Well I've really had been, I'm in an hour in between 4, 9 and 10. Um, got to make a decision. Um, so I've made the decision for 10. So one quick look at this. Um, yeah, Tom likes you to unload the van, get set up, and then get the van back to the uh, clubhouse, which is fair enough. But anyway, this is 10, and I can cover a bit of nines water with a right hand rod. It's three rods, uh, one rod out there, two obviously around here. But right now, it looks like it's going to pee down, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's put this video away and uh, get set up. Yeah, so Roy and Andy are in, Roy's in two, Andy's in three. There's the clubhouse, look at the conditions. And this is the swim I was thinking of down here. I just hope I ain't called it wrong, that's four. Look at the wind. And Andy's here in three. And I'm round, yeah, where am I? To the right of that swan. So I'm behind the island on the far bank, I think. I'm getting my bearings. But look at the weather here around, it looks mad for it, doesn't it? Hello. Hey, you're not that bothered probably, are you? What's that, fishing? About the fact that we've got like a strong southwesterly, it's overcast, it's mild. These are bang on conditions, and Yeah? yeah don't get I, better than this. I've just, I just come here for a week off, I don't really <laughs> go fishing. Yeah, and that's just it, you're probably on them and you're going to bag up. Well, yeah? I, I ain't too sure about that, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. But, but you can see we're fishing. We've got one. Yeah. Right, we've got one right out. Yeah, you ain't hung about. No. Yeah. Look at that weather. Unbelievable. Anyway, boys. Yeah, I've come round to see the guys. Go for dinner half past four, and then uh, get get back. Normally, rods are ready. Put out. So dinner time. Saturday. Quality, eh? Nice. Got it all going yeah. on here. Very nice. Boys have got the uh, football Charles team. Charles winning? Yeah, whatever. So, six o'clock, Saturday evening. Got the rods out after a lovely dinner. Thanks for that, Tom. Food bang on. Got a rod over there in that channel. A rod straight up the middle there. And a rod to the right, about as far right as I would go in terms of wanting to get the fish back, given that the wind's pushing more that way. And as I say, it's mild, overcast, southwesterly, bit of rain. Just looks mad for it. So yeah, the boys are setting up round in two and three, feeling ultra confident. Thirty-eight pound. <sighs> About eleven o'clock Saturday night. Great start to the zoo. Superb. Well, the clock was swim back last night, it's 8 o'clock um, this morning, which means it'll be dark tonight by about 20 past 6. <coughs> um, you had that fishing tonight, I was pleased to have that, but do you know what, I don't think I'm on them. As much as I had that one, uh, I don't think the fish are here, and that onion weed... 
excuse me. <coughs> oh. Oh. That onion weed um, is really heavy out there. And when I put the rod back out there, I had an occurrence in the night, struck into it, there was nothing in uh, there. But the weed was completely uh, wrapped around my leg and everything. So, um, yeah, it's heavy rain for the next few days, on and off. I'm going to wait for it to break. I'm going to be winding in about half nine, and I'm going to go for a little look. I've got a feeling I might be better off up the other end. Um, really not sure. It's one of them. But, as I say, having had that fish, I'm pleased to have had one, but this is the sort of water where if you're on them, you should be getting more than that, that's for sure. Yeah, a few cups of tea have soon put the world to rights. It is hammering down. I've just spoke to Roy. He had a small common in the night. I uh, didn't hear uh, or see much at all. Um, but the pressure's like approaching a thousand. The conditions are just bang on. And um, so anyway, I'm going to wind in just after nine, go around and see the boys, have a breakfast roll, um, and then I'm going to have a mosey about. I certainly couldn't be moving in this uh, weather, but if it does break, I think there's every chance I'll be going up the other end. It's, uh, it's one of them, really, really not sure. Yeah, so it's midday Sunday, I had to move. I, uh, I wound in, went round with Roy and Andy in two and three, and saw some fish moving to the left of four. And this onion weed, it's really heavy in places, so presentation is paramount. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, you've got your wits about here, it's more than doable. But uh, So I've come round to peg four, I've put my bivvy up there, my ridge monkey, and I'm going to put my tracker down here. So, yeah, as I say, peg four, two and three's over there. Three rods, one channel, one out the front one this channel that's actually where we saw the fish moving over there but you can see bang on condition southwesterly mild overcast don't get much better so yeah skirting about now and uh, yeah get them out well actually I ain't getting them out I'm plotting up and everything else and I'm gonna find my spots but I'm going we're having an early dinner four o'clock dinner I know it always sounds like I'm eating but I'm not the fact of the matter is I uh, it's no point in getting them out and then uh, just pulling them back in so four o'clock going for early dinner given it will be dark by 20 past six um allow half hour for that then get back and get them out for the uh, for the night it certainly seems a nighttime bite but in these conditions i need a shower and all so anyway yeah let's get the camera off let's get working well it's half past five sunday just had dinner so just got the rods out it absolutely hammered down so I got them out while it was raining, it's now stopped. But I wanted to get them and get them on the spots before dark. So I've got a left hand right here, one straight out. And like I said earlier, one just round the corner there on the right. So this is the scene again, mild, overcast, and great conditions. Well, Monday morning, and that didn't go to plan last night. What a quiet night. I really was hoping for a fish, let me tell you. I really did think I was in the right spot. Might still be, which might be one of those nights. Right now, I'm having a cup of tea, having a regroup, and thinking probably doing another night here. Um, and then see what happens tomorrow morning. But um, yeah, this is the scene. Thankfully, we've got a nice day today. We needed it after all the rain we've had. Dry things out. Yeah, Roy and Andy are over there. They didn't have anything quite night for them as well. Well, it's lunchtime Monday and I've moved. Uh, I'm round now in Peg. 15 on the back of the wind uh, gonna fish here for at least two days can't keep moving but I just feel these fish are somewhere and uh, we ain't getting them so anyway this is the scene from peg 15 I don't know what that was just moved there just there um, 
Yeah, so clubhouse is over there. I'm fishing to this corner. I've just got one out at the moment until I go for uh, dinner and then get back and get the three rods out. 17 and 18 on that corner by the clubhouse. Roy and Andy are over there in two and three. There's one. The wind's still pushing southwesterly. You'd think they're down there, and they might be down there. But you can readily move, and that's what I've been doing. So, yeah, Oz tent back up. Oz tent, I'll keep calling it the Oz tent. Ridge monkey back up. That flies up and down. And as I think I said before, with this canopy, um, I don't feel I need that big extension. Apart from the fact it takes a fair bit of putting up. You know, if you're in a swim for two weeks, rainbow, maybe there's a need for it. But for me, this is all I need moving forward. Um, so yeah, that goes up and down readily enough. And uh, yeah, so it's easy enough to move. So anyway, this is the sea lunchtime Monday. And uh, yeah, got one rod out, put it straight out there on that far margin, um, which is uh, the obvious spot really, and uh, keeping my eyes open. But Roy down there and Andy, they're not seeing anything down there. Strange. But that's fishing, as Tom quite rightly says. Well, let's hope this is third swim lucky. As I said, I've got here lunchtime into peg 15. Still not seen anything, just been round for dinner. Had that one rod out this afternoon, but so now I've got three out. One down this right hand margin, and two over the back there. And I've only got to see a fish out there in the middle, and I'll be having a rod on it. But this is the scene now. It's a cold night tonight, apparently and wet tomorrow but uh, anyway right now a cup of tea and uh yeah stay up for a few hours and let's see what uh, what the night brings could certainly do with another fish yeah and again Roy and uh, Andy not had anything today so uh, but all to play for we're two nights in so yeah need a bit of a reality check I guess Well, it's half eight Tuesday morning and didn't have a bleep last night in this swim. My third swim and I've only been here three nights. I really don't know what to do. I'm having a right conundrum. I really am. Roy and Andy, not a twitch last night. And we must have covered the fish between us. And I'm starting to think... And the guys watching this, you might be thinking, why did you move out of that first swim? Where'd you add the 38? That's a good question, I don't know. <laughs> so, right now, I'm having a cup of tea. We do rain all day today. Um, but, let's see, we've missed it up now. It's, um, yeah, yeah, I've got to have a regroup, that's for sure. Because right now, yeah, this is proving challenging. Well, it's 10 to 6 Tuesday. And uh, yeah, been over for just the best cod and chips I've ever had. Thanks, Tom and Marine. That was special. Um, got back, got the rods out, and oh, can't buy a bite. I need a fish. I really need a fish. So, and I'm tired. I'm really tired. I'm not even up all night catching. But right now, uh, it's hammered down with rain all day. It's been mild, overcast, hammered down with rain. Going to give it another night in here. Um, and then tomorrow, if it's still raining hard all day, won't really be able to move. If not, and I haven't had anything tonight, I'm going to be moving down there somewhere. But yeah, right now, rods are out, having a cup of tea. And uh, yeah, I need a fish. Well, half seven. Wednesday morning. I'm loading the van again. because I'm moving I saw a fish last night when I got here back from dinner but I had not a bleep Roy thankfully he's had one in the night about three o'clock this morning so I'll pop around and catch up with him have a cup of tea see what they're going to do because it might be they stay now and then pending what they're doing I might go into eight and nine eight or nine at the moment uh, but that depends on what they're doing because they might be fishing that water from the spit uh do that thing and if they are i'll be fishing with them out this way um 
but if they don't, because otherwise they'd be fishing sort of eight and nine's water. Um, but anyway, let's get packed away, finish my cup of tea, and get round now. Well, it's eight o'clock Wednesday morning, so as I said earlier, I've packed up. Got a beautiful morning, but rain's due by lunchtime, which is why I'm skirting about now. So I'm just coming in to see Roy and Andy. All right, buddy. I'll right. see you have one in the night. Yeah. Yeah, good lad. What'd you have? No, not one in the net there. Oh, have you? Oh, well done. Oh, happy days. Good timing. Just landed it now. Yeah. Where you moved to? I ain't moved yet. Um, I've just packed up. Yeah. So I was going to see what you boys were doing, then decide what I was yeah. going to do. Yeah, I was going to have a look round, but the rain's coming lunchtime, so I thought I'd skirt about early. They acted like carp uh, last night, Kev. They was moving, was they? Yeah, there was a few boshing going on and... Oh, nothing down my end. What out here, Roy? Uh, I heard a few fish going on, Kev. What was nice to actually hear, actually. I heard a bit of boshing, obviously, somewhere down there. Poor old Andy, uh, Kev. We had a mare. Uh, he had a fish in the night. And uh, he come and got me and went, Roy, I, I just cannot stand up on that uneven ground. I mean, it's where you I had to play the fish and land it and whatever. Did you get it in? Yeah, we got it in. Nice, oh, nice common. Good. So what have you uh, had then? What did you have in the night then? I had another 20 plus common. Yeah. And I put that one in there. I don't know what it is. It's a... Uh... And what did Andy have? Andy's, I would have said, was a big 20. Uh, oh, nice. 28 or yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, this baby, I played it quite easily. Uh, sensibly, because I thought... Come and have a look at it, Roy. Right? Yeah, but at least you're catching some fish, Roy. Yeah. That's the important thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice to see a carp. That's what they look like. That's what they look like. Yeah. Yeah, happy days. Yeah. yeah, so what are you doing? You staying or going? No, no, we go. We'll, we'll have some fun over there, yeah. OK, cool. Right, so I'll, um, yeah. I'll go around there, Roy. Plot up in the front one. Yeah, I think right. you're in the right swim and all, Kev. Yeah, and then yeah. I'll... Uh, so, Roy, your markers, right... So you're going to need them in your new spot? No, you? no, 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 you had them. I'll right. be, I'll be but able to... But I only want one. You have one. If I need one, I'll take yeah. one out, yeah? OK. You, no, you I don't want them. I oh, only want, want one. You, yeah, only one, one do you want, though? The further or you the You tell me. I'll tell you what, Roy. Those um, fox... I think... Yeah, look, there they are. Those fox markers that light up at night, halo things, yeah. they look fantastic, Roy. Yeah. Yeah? I'm over the moon with them. Yeah. I'm going to have to invest in a couple of them. Yeah, so that remote then, you can have four markers, remote them yeah. all. One, yeah. two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Nice. Uh... Right, well, you do the work, I'll video it. You all right with that? I'll do it, yeah. Yeah, you do the hard bit. No, actually videoing. <laughs> People don't realise how heavy this camera is. This camera is heavy, kid. Oh, well, at least you've had a couple, though. We needed that, didn't we? We did, So we're having a social on the uh, spit, dude. And was you hearing them down there, boy? Uh, it's on trouble, Kev. It's pink, as you know, it's dark here, isn't it? It's not like... So it's, uh, it's black, black. Lovely, Roy. Happy yeah, days. Baby. Yeah, so this is Roy Swim, and he's next door. Roy's in peg two. So he was fishing out in between those markers, and he had one down here as well. Would you catch him out the front, Roy? I out here? Yeah, I didn't just pass the marker. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, well done. Well, are these banana rods are a grand a piece. Are they okay to be put on the floor? Or do I have to stand here holding it? <laughs> Worries me. They're fine, Kim. Yeah, they're fine, fine on the floor. Yeah, fine on the floor. All right, you sure? Yeah. All right, okay. And your 500 quid reels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, this is the scene Wednesday morning. So we're going to go and uh, get set up. And what we're doing is we're fishing the, like the spit thing. There's three swims on it, two facing eight, nine, and ten, and one coming out this way, and that's the one I'm going to be fishing. Show us your rig, boy. What we got here? Talk us through it. What we got here? <laughs> nice little, little size, little size six up. Yeah. Pop up. Lead. I don't think I've used a bit size of, six hook since I fished for roach. Bit of rigmarole, <laughs> bit of rigmarole tubing yeah, in case well I was done. to use a lead core, but... Yeah, no rigmarole. No. You like that, didn't you? I do Yeah, like it that, does yeah. sink well. Yeah. Yeah, good. Well done. Let's have a look at that fish. Yeah, Move that rod. Well, it would worry me treading on that work of art. <laughs> tell you what, boy, that RT4, that went out in all weathers, didn't it? That's fantastic. Yeah, to be fair, I'll see it going out there when that proper wind kicked off. Yeah, good bit of kit. I look forward to getting mine as well. 
Yeah, lovely mirror, lovely. So it's 32 pound, less four, Roy. 28 pound. Oh, thank you. Yeah, lovely. Let's get a quick picture with you, Roy, and then I'll get around to the swim. Go on, buddy. There we go, 28 pound, lovely fish. Yeah, nice little clean mirror, isn't it? Yeah. Nice one, Roy, well done. Happy days. Yeah, so I'm round now, about half past eight, Wednesday morning. Been a busy old morning, round in peg five. Roy and Andy are over there. His markers are out there. There's the clubhouse. And I'm going to be fishing out where them swans are. And to the left, I'm going to get out in the boat and have a good mosey around. get plotted up before the rain comes and then Andy and Roy they're gonna be fishing so we're in very different waters this uh, peninsula that's the right word this gives you a lot of scope is the swim I fancied and this was where that's eight and nine turns over in the corner where I started oh was that a fish there was a fish there look at that the fish just rolled there anyway enough chatting and get the kettle on, get plotted up, and uh, yeah, got three nights now to make it happen. And the weather's getting warmer, I think, after today, so we've got yeah, all to play for, that's for sure. Well, it's nearly 10 a.m. now, Wednesday. Got my gear around here, got myself plotted up, and I'm gonna go and have a shower. And uh, I'm gonna suggest to Roy and Andy we have dinner in the swim given that we're all together here and that allow us to get the rods out in good time not rush about have a good look around um, but more important than right now macron's due to have a uh, announcement tonight about the lockdowns and what's going on in france uh, and i doubt that'll impact us actually getting home but yeah we need to see what uh, or hear what he has to say so uh yeah just something we don't need right now but more important than that, I need a fish. That's the long and short of it. And I'm starting to wonder if I've ballsed up all week. But that's fishing for you. Still got three days to make it happen. If Macron don't tell us we've got to pack up tonight and get home, who knows? Well, Roy moved in. And as says Andy, Roy, they've been out there an hour. Boom, has got a 30 pounder. Just shows you, you need it to be on them in this weather. And I don't know we were really on them, but I think we are now. Three and a half pound difference, I think, it's just, if it's like the other. Three, last. two, I reckon. Just weigh them, boy, because my one was four pounds. Three and a half. Three. It is three, yeah, three and a half, is it? Mm. Well, what's that say? So it's 30, just over 34. 34, four, I'd say. Yeah, so it's. So take, put that back. Take three off in a net. There we go, Roy. Just. Nice little 30. Yeah, beauty. Just yeah, Wednesday lunchtime. Nearly 31. About an hour of putting it out, wasn't it? Yeah. Look at the scallation. Swim beauty. six, I'm, I'm over the moon. Yeah, so you should be. Yeah, well done. Short range spot. Yeah. Days. Well, Roy's saving the day because he's into his second one. Just gone two o'clock Wednesday afternoon, up against the snag, a little drop back. Just wanted to get the camera. Yeah, just shows you. They were somewhere, these fish. Weed, mate. Okay. It's a weed fish. In the boat, Tom. No chance. 
Well done. Lovely, Tom. Roy. Well done. Smile. Big thumbs Go up. Yay! Well, no sooner Roy put back that fish earlier, he's had another one on the same spot within five minutes. Yeah, went into a weed bed, yeah? Ah. Oh, monumental fight. Yeah, the onion weed. Yeah. It's a, uh, oh, that's a nicer one, Roy, isn't it? Yes. Oh, it, it, it's, a, it's a big 30, may, maybe even a small 40, maybe. Yeah, lovely. Uh, let's rest him in there. Yeah, no, he's a lovely fish. He's a lump. That's a lovely 40, fish. 40, 40, 46, 47. 47, 47 and a half. 47 43 and a half. 43 and a half. 47 and a half. 44. 44. 44 pounds. 44 pounds. You have a little check out. Yeah, superb. That's it, 4 pounds, isn't it? Yeah, yeah lovely, boy. Yeah, sorry, don't worry. <laughs> Blind eye. Is he blind? Yeah. Oh, Tom and I, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, what a super fish, boy. Oh. Well done. Um, yeah, yes, lovely. Yep. Happy days. Yes, mate. Yeah, get out. Well, it's nearly half four. Let's get out of the wind. Um, Wednesday, and we're feeling mega confident. Roy had three fish there in a couple of hours, and it just shows you we needed to find them, and Roy's certainly on them there. Um, right now, I've got a skirt about, I've got some work to do, make some calls, but I couldn't feel more confident for tonight. Really do feel mad for it. So, um, yeah, going to put the camera away now, unless Roy gets one or I get one, um, or Andy gets one. We're having dinner in the swim. Um, yeah, feels really, really bang on, and the weather's getting even better tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. So for now, skirting about, and uh, yeah, all to play for. Well, Tom brought round the most magnificent shepherd's pie. Just finished that, got some calls out of the way. I said the video would come out again if one of us caught, and Roy's in. So I'll just come and get the camera, and we'll quickly go around and see him. Tom's come out with a chat. There we go. They're proper out here, them fish. You don't know that. You don't know that, no. Come on. There they are, look, old school. Try and get the angle where it looks like I'm playing it, can you? I feel like I've got one now. Kevin it slipped over the dorsal there, mate. I thought we'd lost him. Oh, mate. I'll tell you what, Marine's grub. <laughs> Special. Oh, that pie was something else. The apple cake oh, was amazing. divine. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Just no fish in your lake. <laughs> Food's good, but fishing's rubbish. Fishing's up. Oh, that's pulling, boy. It's having a go, Kevin. Yeah. There's trouble here now, mate, because we've got a really... Am I walking back, boy? Yeah, walking back. Well done, <laughs> England. <laughs> Bit of a double hook up here. Kev's playing it like he's in a big game boat, pulling a marlin in. You can't beat them old banana <laughs> rods. I feel really bad now. <laughs> Why? Bound to be a big in on that rod. Go on, get in. Yeah. Look at this. We're on it. We're on it, Kim. Um, Go on, make on. it out, could you? Come on, the bananas. Oh, I'm changing my mind on this fish, Tom. Yeah, feel a good one. No, I don't think it feels that good. It's just so annoying. I will give up. You two look like you know what you're doing. We do know what we're doing occasionally. Okay. I'm pulling it through this weed, Tom, am I? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that weed, Kev, is proper. Onion weed off the Richter scout. Well. Yeah, it's coming. Come on, the Zubri. Tom, just in case, can I change my T-shirt? <laughs> Not like I've had two. <laughs> Yeah, got it through that onion weed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, steady pressure. How's it feeling yours, Kevin? Massive. <laughs> Don't say that. Feels bigger than your one. <laughs> it's looking, looking bigger than my one, the way you're shaping up. Do you want to swap? No, I don't. I think mine is only a little one, But I think they're going to cross, Roy. Hold on, be careful. Where's yours? If you'd have had decent rods, you'd have probably had these in by now. Swell ain't very big there. Uh, mine's too hard. Uh, <laughs> I think Kev's is a big fish, you know that? I'll tell you what, boy, I think this might be bigger than that. 
Yeah. I'm on back. Bit of us. Yeah, I'm on back. I was on back. 19, 1980 swap over here. Yeah, yours is more like the tip. Andy don't know we've got two fish on board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've swapped rods because we've got that one in. That's a nice fish down there. But the one I was playing did feel a good fish. Black is anything this one. It is black, isn't it? That. That's all that lovely black. Get your rods out. I need to relax. There's peg ten where I started off in. I'm beginning to realise. Probably done the wrong thing moving. Yeah, Roy's going after that fish I was playing. It's onion weeds, some thick beds of it. I think he needs to go out and get maybe the other side of it. I think he's moved, you know that? Yeah, I, I thought the... I thought I was further out than this. No! You got him. Well, done, well, you can tell I've been playing the fish for a while. Turns out that big one's about 15 pounds. <laughs> oh well, just shows you. Tom, is there anything you want Andy to do? <laughs> what a lovely carp that is. Colours are fantastic. What a beauty. Yeah, look at that. 34 pound. What a beautiful fish that is. Well done, Roy. Happy days. So whose fish actually is this one? I don't know. Roy's, get it down, hold it down like that, Tom. Get it low, look there. Yeah, yeah, oi, it's Roy's at the moment, but if I don't catch anything, it'll be mine. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah, hold on. It will calm down a bit. Up a 20? Yeah. It's a nice 20-odd. Oh, fish can't. Pretty good. It's nice having a ghillie, Roy, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Can't beat it. Super. You got a good side? Superb. There you go. Well done, Roy. Well done, Phil. Well done, buddy. Yeah, yeah, what a beauty. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, stunning fish. I don't know what it is, 20, yeah. 20 something got a fall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all day long. Well, it's half 11 Thursday morning, and uh, I had a small mirror in the night, about 12 pound, beautiful little fish, heavily scaled fish. Um, and that was it for me. Roy didn't have any. Andy lost one. We're sitting away chatting now, and thinking it's got to liven up, and sure enough, Roy's hot rod has gone off, and he's into it. If you think you lost that, is that wrong here? Yeah, I'm in the weed. Yeah, We're just getting the extra height, yeah. That's some Roy's fishing out uh, there, and there's a big band of this onion weed here. And that onion weed, we've got it here, I was looking at it earlier. I don't think I've fished a lake before with this type of weed. There's no life in it. Where's that lump of weed, eh, we was looking at? That's coming now. You can pick up little tips with world-class yeah. anglers. Yeah, he's fucking on it. He's fucking having a go, the boy. He's chasing me. Well done, Roy. Excellent. Thursday mid-morning, happy days. Well, approaching one o'clock Thursday, gone up and had a shower, made a few calls, I can't leave work for five minutes. I'm on my way back, he's in again. There he is. Same scenario, getting it through that weed bed that's just short of where he's fishing. I can't leave you boys for five minutes, can I?
You're winning a battle, Roy. <laughs> oh, it's right in front of you. Well angled, Roy. Well done. Superb. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful looking, yeah. generic look, these fish. Yeah, they are. Lovely looking fish. Roy, is there anything you want Andy to do? <laughs> Oh no, that's not a big big hole. It's a nice little 30 though. 36. 36 pounds. No, 30 more than that. 30. That's 38 there, isn't it? 30. 37 on the nose. Lovely. Bang on. 37. 37 pounds, pound. lovely. Lunchtime <sighs> Thursday. Big fish for Thursday. Look at that. Beautiful. Yep, got that one. Yeah, how good's that, Roy? Well done. All right, cheers, Kip. Well, you can probably hear the wind still, and I think we've had the last of the rain. I've got two rods out now. I'm only fishing two rods, um, and I've changed my spot slightly. Uh, that onion weed is challenging, and that uh, Raymarine fish finder just tells you where it is and where it ain't it's really really good but equally I want to be within some weed and close to it uh, which I've been doing all week but anyway the rods are out now Thursday afternoon again conditions bang on Roy still continuing to catch them I think he's had eight fish out of that swim now so great angling for him um, and right now yeah me and Andy boy we could do with a fish so anyway dinner will be around shortly zoo burger um, and oh, it's all to play for. I've got two nights to go because the chances are I won't be back in France for a while now, given the announcement from Macron last night. So, really got to make the most of this. And uh, yeah, need a fish right now. Well, Roy's in again, half past three Thursday. And I've just gone round to catch up with him, and it's banged round. Here we go, look, there he is. He's actually great on something, this one. Great on something. He's great on something. Whoa, you mean 20 pound pasty. The way back is. Roy's going after that one. Huge weed bed there. And it is a sod to get them through that. Yeah, nice one, Roy. Well done. Come on, Roy. <laughs> Come on, Captain Addict. <laughs> He's back, he's run out on the motor. You might be better off, Roy, using the wind to come round to the left. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> yeah. Did I did I say it had loads of power? <laughs> yeah, there's a new one for you. Yeah, he's got a fish. Well done, Ryan. Well done, Roy. Kev. What a performance. Battery, oh, I'm not listening to you in future. Yeah, no, I wouldn't that listen to me. Last few weeks. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, oh. lift me am I on? Yeah, that'll see you out. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was hoping, Kev, I was hoping for the colour of that. They're yeah. beautiful colours, aren't they? Yeah. I'm going to have to. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, Thursday tea time, £42. Look at that. Oh, what a beauty. Yep. Well, that's perfect timing catching that fish. Got our dinner. Mm. Yeah, Fantastic. and getting them out. Zoo yeah. burger. Zoo yeah, burger. and this is the same Thursday evening. What session you're having? Oh. Hey? Superb. Anyway, let's tuck into this. It looks bang on. 10 out of 10 of food, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, just before dark Thursday. And Roy's got a 43 here. 
Superb, yeah. what a lovely fish. Well done, boy. Thank you. Well, Thursday, about, was it half nine, boy? Not even that late, I don't think. Yeah. 47 pound, and I would have put this back thinking it was a low 30. Because of the belly, look at that. Look at that. Keep your torch off me, boy. I'll get my torch yeah, off, off me, yeah. That's it. 47 pound. Let's get the other side. Such a belly on it, I didn't see the belly. Beautiful fish, Kevin. Oh, yeah. You've worked your socks off for that, mate. You deserve it. Yeah, you've worked my socks off. I'd have come round to you and said, oh, well, I'd just slip back to 30. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Big fish Thursday, Kevin. You've done 47 it. 47 pound. 47 pound. We love it. Look at that. Same shape as me. Yeah. One o'clock. Just gone one o'clock. Friday morning. Big Second fish, 46 pound. Big fish Friday. Look at that, what a pretty fish. Beautiful. Well chuffed with that. Look at the other side. Yeah, that's a Get a picture of this side with your oh, camera. Let me, yeah, let me. Well, well, let's even get put it. you still. Yeah, let's get this up. Yeah. 46 pound. I'll give. Well chuffed. You want it, boy? Yeah, I'm good. There we go, 29 pound Friday morning, first light. We're happy with that. Superb. Well, it's about half eight now, Friday morning, and uh, yeah, just put back that common. And uh, yeah, it turned out to be a great night's fishing. I really needed that, <laughs> really needed it. If I think I'd said it 10 times, I'd said it 20, I'd needed a fish. So um, yeah, to catch those, and lovely fish as well in here. So full credit to uh, Tom. Um, so anyway, yeah, got them back out there now, um, and yeah, skirting about, I'll be going up the clubhouse lunchtime, sort some stuff out, pack away some stuff ready for tomorrow morning, but you know what, still with these conditions, and now looks like I might have found them, it, uh, yeah, all to play for. Yeah, 28 pound, you had a couple in the night, boy, two or three or four, whatever you had, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Look at that, lovely, well done, yeah. Friday Cheers, morning. Happy days. Tom's brought me around that, and he's got egg, bacon, sausage, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Some of mine don't smell even advertising now. <laughs> look at that, Ant. Careful. Look. Yeah, thanks, Tom. It's good for the diet, though, isn't it? No. <laughs> look how he's looked after you. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's no, better. Look, banana. 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 Yeah. You got orange juice? No. Oh, Matt, you, yeah. are, you are the only customer. Well, I bet you don't want to swap, though. I want well, to you are the only customer that's requested bananas this this whole year. In fact, in five years, I think, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. yeah, so approaching lunchtime Friday, weather's still bang on. And, uh, yeah, as far as people getting out are concerned, looks like some are coming tomorrow, some are cancelling, various lakes and what have you. But, yeah, right now, I'm just... Uh, Regrouping, going up for a shower shortly with Andy. I've showered with Uglier, to be fair. But um, right now, I've always had another one. And these beautiful orange fish. Look at them. Yeah, how big's he, boy? 24 pound, Kev. Yeah, lovely. Happy days. Midday Friday. Midday Friday. Andy and I are just about to go up and have a shower. We've always put one out. Ten minutes later, it's gone off. That's where I started off, peg tin. I think I might have made a mistake, but you have to give it a roar. He certainly fished very effectively. Very effective. Here's the team. Here's the team. Catching the... while Kev's gone to... Me and the sash man. Kev's gone to do his hair. Are we having a photo to give her, Sash? Are we having a photo to give her? No. Well, we'll give it away. Oh, that last photo we had done was brilliant. <laughs> Me and you were the man. <laughs> Man. How big is it, Roy? 32. Pounds. 32. A video together, me and the sash man. You'll be able to watch this back in ten, ten years' time and think, what an angler. Ready, <laughs> sash? Yeah, fingers up. Should we have two fingers up? Yeah, look at that. Cracker. Me and sash man. 32 pound of beautiful mirror.
Hold on. Come on the zoo. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Hold on, right. Happy days. Kev's not here at the moment. He'll probably edit this out, but his confidence was a bit low. So me and Roy both tied him a rig up last night, put him some proper bait on. And I think yeah. he had three, didn't he? He did. He, he, won't, he won't admit it. He won't admit it, obviously, because he'll, you know, change the story around. But it just shows how much colour makes with yeah. white pop-ups, yeah. yellow pop-ups, and the business. Yeah. So he might choose to edit this out. He probably will, but we'll see. But well done, Kev. Uh, well done. Well, yours and my rigs, weren't they? But yeah. Yeah. Well done. We're going to catch up with Tom, the owner of the zoo. While we're doing that, we'll have a quick look at his rigs. What he does. He's fishing fish last night. Not sure if that's been crayed or he's fishing like that. Hey, that's private. That's Helicopter tubing. Yeah. Has that been crayed or is that half a boily? Half a boily. Come on, see, look, half a, nah, it's been crazy, isn't it? Or would you do it like that? Nah, I put half a, half a, mate, half a pop up on last night. Alright. Yeah. There's Tom's son. <laughs> so we'll quickly catch you on video then, Tom. Yeah, no probs, yeah. So, Tom, you're the owner of the zoo. Yep. Right, you're six foot as it is, and I'm right down no, low. Anyway, if I crash, no, don't need a crash. I'll hold it up by. <laughs> um, Tom, I come across you yeah. at the Castle Lake. You and Marine. Correct. What? Five, six years ago now. Six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So tell us what you a bit about you. You're not from Liverpool. You're not a Scouser, are you? No, no. Oh, no right. So I'm, that was my confusion. <laughs> I'm, I don't think I am. No. Yeah, the accents sound the yeah, same no, to me. We're Midlands. Just, Midlands. Yeah, north, of, up that north, way. north of Watford. Up that way. Up that okay, way. Okay, so yeah. tell us about yourself. No, I've been uh, been involved in fisheries a, few, a while now. You obviously know. Yeah, met you at Castle Lake. Yeah, six years ago. Uh, decided, met Marine. Decided to. This was the place to be out here. Love it in France. Started looking for a lake. Found this. And yeah, five years on. This is where we are. Was it your ambition as a kid to have your own lake as, a, as an angler? Uh, yeah, it's a bit, it sounds sad, but yeah, pa fish, passion, you know, like all anglers, the dream. Sometimes having your own lake, yeah, it's not so good for your fishing side of things, but I've run in my syndicate in Leicester now for 20, I think about 22 years, I think I've had a lake in England. So yeah, I've always been involved in fisheries, fishery work, nettings, electrofishings. And it suppose it's sort of the next stage up. So you've, how did you find this? Found it on the internet. It was for sale as a previously run French fishery, but I don't know, the, the, the advertisement, I never really, I, I was never that eager to go and look at it. We looked at two or three lakes. There was a few issues with one or two of them. Some were very, very, just a hole in the ground. And we thought, oh, we'll go and look at this, this French one. And uh, yeah, pull through the gate. And I thought, oh, it's, it's, it's never 45 acres. Uh, there was a bit of mist and we couldn't see it all. And we, by the time I got halfway around it, we was, I was like, oh, this, is, this is the one. Lakes, this, this is the one. Yeah, there ain't many lakes like this. Labyrinth immediately comes to mind <clears throat> that are of this size and magnitude. Mm. I would imagine a lot of couples coming out to France would look at this and find it rather daunting yeah. compared with your <laughs> typical 10, 12, 15 acre the, lake. Yeah, the, the thing is, I'm still passionate and enjoy me fishing that's why i got my rods out now so i always wanted a place where for, you know this is our home where, where we live obviously and i still want to have the enjoyment that i could go fishing here and a bit of a challenge and still enjoy it and it's not not a, i'd get a bit bored if i was on a small water personally i'd get a bit bored i love the fact that i don't know what i'm going to catch here your fish can go on the missing list there's still probably original fish here that have not been caught in five years uh, so there's always a bit of that mystery about it and I say, well, you, you've seen it. it's a beautiful lake. It's got loads of features. It's very English, Englishy style, st style lake. It's got islands, bars. Uh, he immediately reminded it's, it's me of North place. Met. When I saw this come through the gate Saturday, I said to you, it yeah. reminded me of North Met in the, uh, in the Lee Valley.
Stock wise, I, I, again, it's always a guess. I think I've put in 340 fish. I think roughly I've stocked, plus the original stock, I guess two to 300. We've lost a few over the, over, over the years, as you do with spawning time. I, I tell people there's probably 500 fish, give or take a few, but I, I don't really know. And you've I got guess. average depths here of what? Because it goes down and up yeah, and down. It's, like it's, not a deep, it's not a deep lake. There isn't a deep end and a shallow end. It probably averages, uh, what, seven foot. Uh, the water drops every summer as it does now. We're probably, what, two and a half foot down. During the winter time, this will come back up so it's full again. Uh, and then obviously the average depth is a bit more. But it's, it's certainly not a deep lake. Uh, it's obviously a gravel pit. There's, there's, all, there's, there's bars, there's hard spots, silty areas. It does, does get weed in the summer. We do try and keep that down as much as we can, but it, it's, you know, it's never an issue to, to stop the fishing as such. Uh, yeah, it's just a great lake to come fishing at. I think most of the people that come here love it, really. Well, we know that because getting on here year on year, it would <laughs> seem people just book the same week year on year. Yeah. Which is the challenge I've had with you all week, getting my boys on here oh, for my have, have you mentioned that? I'm not yeah, sure yeah, you I've mentioned, mentioned it about 30 I'm, times, I'm not sure you mentioned that, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll try my best. A bit, little backhander might help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good place. Uh, you know, we, we, we do our food package. Marine, Marine takes a lot of pride in her food. Uh, she does, you know, she does great meals for the lads. It's all fresh, fresh food, fresh produce locally. Uh, you know, top end meat. There's no microwave meals as such. And yeah, we we offer something that I think is a, a good value for money. And, and the groups that come here say we can cater for 10, 10 or more people on the night, no problem. Yeah, no, uh, it's mm. been a great week, and it's not over yet. And you're right, the food yeah. is bang on, as yeah. it was at Castle Lake when Marine was yeah. doing the food there. Yeah, 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 yeah. reputation precedes us. So yeah, no, it's, it's, just, it's pretty good. Top cooking. notch. Yeah. And for people watching this, obviously I'll overlay your Facebook page and your uh, yeah, web sure. page. Yeah. But you're about five hours from Calais. 
sort of southeast of Le Mans. Is yeah, that, yeah, between yeah? Tours and Le Mans, about four hours to be fair. Yeah, right. so four hours is a steady run. If you stop off, obviously a bit longer, but yeah, I, I, four hours no problem. Right, uh, it avoids Paris, so it's a, it's a it's a real good run down. Yeah, yeah, okay, mate. Yeah. All right. Well, it's not over yet. We've caught some lovely fish between us, especially Roy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And our uh, last night, and Tom, the weather's been great all week. Really, yeah, banging. It? Yeah, it's yeah. got better so, and better as the week's gone on. It yeah. has. Yeah. Tonight, all to play for. There's yeah. still plenty of fish to catch. So there we'll is. See. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a um, well, we peg 18. You're in. Yeah, 18. So the clubhouse that's, is behind that's probably us. the best setup you've seen this week. I would assume. It, well, no, Roy, it's, it's immaculate. It's all level <laughs> and everything. So this is the scene. I'm over there. Right now on the sort of end of the peninsula, Roy and Andy started off over there in peg two. I started off over in peg ten in the far corner. That's going to haunt me moving out of there. <laughs> There's yeah. no fish down that end of the lake, Kev. No. Yeah, you told me that, didn't you? You <laughs> give me a right bum steer. But anyway, no. And to be fair, I probably wouldn't have caught as many as Roy. He's done really well. Yeah, he's yeah, he has right. done really well. But anyway, all to play for. Bang on conditions. Bit troublesome. What with all the lockdowns and stuff, Tom. That, that's yeah. before I conclude this. That's been challenging for it, you it, and all lake owners. Uh, for hasn't all it? fisheries, yeah. Terrible year, you know, business-wise. But we, we crack on. We'll be here. We'll be here for a long time ahead, and just every, like, just hopefully next year we can get some sort of consistency, and everyone can come out fishing without yeah. the quarantine and all the all the rules. Yeah, again of it, yeah, so. it's been challenging for everyone at home. I know mm. fishing, you know, ain't really a priority for a lot of people, but us anglers, when we got it in our head, we want to go. The thing is, I, I think the more people are on lockdown, the more people people want to go fishing. Yeah, yeah, no, there everybody is that, wants yeah. to get out, you know, they don't want to be stuck at home, they want, people want to be out fishing and outdoors, and, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, Tom, thanks for that, and I'll catch up with you later when yeah. you bring around our curry. <laughs> yeah? yeah, Meals on Wheels again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you need to make it clear, it's not normally Meals no, on no, Wheels. No, normally food in the clubhouse. Yeah, food in the clubhouse. Yeah, yeah, in the clubhouse. You're special, so yeah, you get away with it. Yeah, it's special needs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, thanks a lot, Tom. No worries. Cheers, mate. Yeah, Tom's being very modest there. You know, it is a great fishery, this. You can see the amount of work. Well, it's just never-ending. It must be on a lake of this size. It seems never-ending. You know, when I've been, you know, recently to some smaller lakes and you see the bailiffs, they don't stop. Um, and this water is probably four times the size of a lot of average uh, size fisheries over here that uh, are owned by English. But yeah, full credit to him. And as I say, great facilities. Certainly bring your birdie partners and one thing and another. But right now, uh, me and Andy, we're heading back, getting the rods out. And uh, yeah, you know, as I say, all to play for. Bang on conditions. I'm hoping to get the drone up this afternoon. Just needs to uh, calm down a bit. And it'd be nice to get some drone footage to add to, uh, to, add to this video. So Andy used to be on the videos when I've done the koi videos back in the day, an avid koi keeper, so I've got to know Andy through koi. And uh, yeah, some lovely ogons and stuff in here, isn't there, Andy? Yeah, Tom's, yeah. Re Tom's renowned for his passion for um, playing gutter, playing yeah, these are, what koi. Was they, the mid-90s, the biggest in here, aren't they? Yeah, we had, we had yeah. a, couple of, a couple of days ago. Um, they're stunning creatures, aren't they? Where's the, it says don't feed them, but where's he put the food here? Well, he actually means feed them, doesn't he? Well, if that's yeah. what he's coming, he means feed them with someone else's belly. Yeah, so he can save some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what have we got in here? It's got to be... Coppins, got to be Coppins food, isn't it? Lovely Coppins, look at yeah, that. Yeah, look at that, go on, throw that in, make and them happy. And, and it, best products in the world. Yeah, so isn't there part of uh, Tom's passion, you can see his proper wrap round fish. That crashing is something special. Yeah, sort of night. Um, for people that might not know, anglers watching this, we measure koi not in weight but in centimetres, and we don't want body shapes on koi like we would have on our carp. So we tend to have them, you know, much uh, slimmer, leaner, so to speak. So 90 cm uh, ogons are big, big fish, no question of that. And uh, yeah, serious creatures. Matsuba must be uh, one of the biggest about. That's got to be 95 itself. Well, it's just gone, it's lunchtime now, Friday, and uh, gone up, had a shower, had that interview with Tom. Thanks for that, Tom. Um, and right now, I'm just going to put some bait round where I had those fish in the night, and then I'm going to go and bait up for Andy, one of his rods. Um, just try a different approach. So, um, yeah, right now, as I say, you ought to play for, and it's proper exciting. Guys, first time I've used, I borrowed this off Roy, these Fox Illuminated Halo poles, marker poles. They are brilliant. Absolute game, game changer. 
you know, quite expensive, but boy, do they work well. So with a remote, I can light that up at night, the top, and uh, yeah, it works a treat. This is that onion weed. So you can see here, I'm in four foot, and two foot of it is that onion. There's obviously a typical clear spot. Great fish finder this guys. I'm often asked about fish finders. I don't, I'm not very technical, but this has been brilliant. There's Roy the Koi. So I'm going round to Andy now and I'm gonna bait up one of his rods out here with the sort of approach I do just to try something different. So Andy's fishing to the left of Roy in the bay and we've heard fish out in this bay and stuff. There's the boys. Well we baited up Andy on my way back to my swim saw a lovely fish roll to my left. Quickly come and got one of those other halo doodars from Roy and as I say brilliant bits of kit really are I'll be getting in when I get home um, just dropped that where I saw the fish and uh, yeah got to put a rod there it looks really good there it's uh, got weed all around it and I found a clear spot so uh, yeah and while I was doing that Roy was playing one so let's go and have a look uh, oh. nice one boy alright mate happy days how big Roy? 34 pound mate. 34 pound early afternoon Friday. Lovely. Just get yeah. Just packing up. Boys have got a 60 pounder. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, you nutters. Bring your teeth. Oh, look at winding me up boys. Ah, oh, I'm gonna make get him a cup of tea. <sighs> make him a nice cup of tea, so I thought the quickest way to get him over here. I just dropped all my rubbish. Let me go and sort my rubbish out. <laughs> <sighs> Boys they are. Give me a minute. These two are like Laurel and Hardy, honestly, <laughs> putting his odds in. <laughs> you alright in there, Rand? Just hold this corner up so I can undo it all, all properly. No, let me do it. Stay there. Let me do it. I know what to do. <laughs> and, I'll tell you what, man, what, I'll give you a hundred quid, more, I'll give you a grand, if you can get that Oz tent in that bag. Go on, give it a go. Your movies are not supposed to take the piss out of the table. <laughs> yeah, three hours later, he's determined to get that grand. <laughs> you go on. <laughs> yeah, I think my grand's safe. You have to do it within 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a bacon sandwich in 20 minutes. Yeah. There is a rope yeah. on it, and there's a rope that comes with it. Yeah, oh, half hour later. No, don't count. No, no, so oh, go on, it does count. Go on, it counts. You help him, but the zoop's got to be done up. All right, go on, you help him. Okay, now, I don't think it's, I think it's too long, no, one. Right. For the record, it did come in that bag, right? It did come in that yeah. bag. Yeah. But I don't think it's going back in this bag. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is, for a grand, it is. Do you know what? But you've got to do the zip up. I'm that big in the pants, this is like me having sex with you. I think I've lost a bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Hold on, they made the bag bigger. We had a bigger one, flew it from us Yeah, well done boys. It, it cost us four grand to get it thrown in. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we won! Because you're both all quite wide, I can't quite fit you in, but we're rolling. Uh, was we're you rolling. recording when you said that? <laughs> three amigos. Yeah, that was, a, that was aimed at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the three yeah. amigos. <laughs> yeah, well, Saturday morning and we're off, and what a cracking week, Tom. Can't yeah. wait to come back. Yeah. yeah. Need to come back because me and Andy need to catch some more. <laughs> yeah. Roy don't need to catch yeah, it. Roy's yeah. Yeah. yeah, Roy's banned. Yeah, Roy's banned. Yeah. Roy, Roy's off to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Poor old leg. I now know how our fish feels. Yeah. yeah. After that, all going clean through my leg. It did yeah. Half and, him, yeah. And, and him cutting his flesh but, in Rambo. But I'll overlay the little video that we took on the phone. Which shows how sympathetic we all were. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Yeah. 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 No, it's anyway. been a good, good week. Yeah, no, it has. Oh, yeah. Cracking fishery. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks week. very much.
Thanks for the good woman for the grab. Great stuff. Yeah, well yeah. Done. And, um, yeah we look forward and to And more time. importantly, it's nice of you lot to look at some good koi for a change. Yes, yes very yeah, true. Yeah, well, we will do that when we go home to our ponds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's a great trip. Yeah. Thanks great a lot, week. Tom. We're yeah. great, mate. Safe yeah, trip yeah, back. Yeah. Safe trip back, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Cheers, well, well, Cheers, Tom. Well, guys, been back a couple of days, and, uh, yeah, I... Uh, just reflecting with a mate of mine, what a cracking lake and trip we had at the zoo. Um, and it's been a great season this year, fishing some great venues as I've done, um, a couple for the first time. Um, and yeah, that's up there with the best of them. So yeah, um, not least of all, Roy, great fishing by you, mate. Caught some amazing fish, really got amongst them. Um, Andy, not so much for you, not so much for me. Uh, but that's fishing, and uh, yeah, can't wait to get back. But uh, yeah, some super fishing there, and uh, well done to you, Tom, for uh, turning that into a great fishery. Um, right now, um, and again, the reason for talking to a mate is that I can't see us anglers getting back to France now, um, this side of Christmas, with all that's going on. Um, I had a trip scheduled for the end of this month, which ain't happening. Uh, the lake, in fact, is going to be closed. So, uh, and I know there's other priorities, as I keep saying on these videos, but uh, as frustrating as it is, um, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, we just have to get around all of this stuff and uh, yeah, get back to a sense of normality, whatever that might be. But for now, as I say, this is almost certainly my last foreign trip of the year. Um, and that will give me a chance to, when the weather's right, which it is now, but due to get a lot colder, either way, um, do some uh, UK fishing on my syndicate. So yeah, once again guys, thanks for watching this, and as I say, almost certainly the last uh, video of the year. Thanks again Tom, thanks to you Roy for arranging the trip, um, and yeah, look forward to catching up with you boys um, as and when it suits. But uh, yeah, for now, um, yeah, work priorities, other priorities, um, yeah, fishing might just have to take a back seat for a change. Bye. And we're now going to cut it. Do you want to bite on anything, Roy? Right? No, just sir. To... All I want to do is cut. Yeah, them. but I don't know how well they cut. Do you want to do a test hook before you cut it? Don't worry about test hook. Let's get this cut. Right. You're right, kid. They're ships. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Absolute shit, mate. Yeah, look at the fucking state of them. They can't cut a fucking carrot. Right. We've got a hacksaw or anything with us? <laughs> No, Roy, don't mess about with it, look. No, fucking hell. Kev, they're useless. No good. Let, let me ring mm -hmm. Tom. Yeah, Tom, yeah, Tom. Tom. Let, let me ring him. Yeah, yeah. That's the one you can do. That's all right, Roy. Are you in pain, Roy? Look at fucking hell. He's in fucking shock.